What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Girl, what's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. <laughs> We are down here, honey. Okay, listen. Okay, I'm. This is the first thing I said. I'm gonna go to the Jasmine brand. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let them even know you stopped by. I'm gonna go to the Jasmine brand, and the first thing I see is that lion leprechaun daddy, um, <laughs> Tory Lane's daddy. It says Twitter users react to Sun Star Peterson's recent live. Tory Lane's father says his family has forgiven Megan the Stallion. He's also doubled down on his claims that they would not give in to the machine used against his son. You are clearly delusional. You probably need a, a mental health evaluation. Like that is straight up delusional to even like to say anything of like that to me. I feel like it's mental illness. Listen. principle of forgiveness is important in order to and and you know hatred trust me resentment bitterness those things can actually cause diseases of the bones it has been proven and it can cause sickness in your body because you're holding on to something that is negative against the real life force in your life so whatever you do in life no matter how hard it is forgive because forgiveness is not for the other person it's for you is for you. And so that's what we decided. Some will actually no doubt question, is he actually saying that Tory forgave Megan for all of what's going on? Yes, we have forgiven her. But what we will not back down from is the machine that has been in the background trying to press a narrative in order to a long time ago. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. that's like I would I would probably ask somebody to go see about him because he sounds like he's off his rocker yeah that's all I'm gonna listen to I don't have to listen to anymore girl what absolutely not <sighs> oh TJ Holmes and AB Ro Amy Robot gearing up to sue ABC Lawyers reportedly considered race as a possible motivator after being told the co-anchors wouldn't face disciplinary action and were later pulled off air. But pulled off air and and what? Do they still are they still employed? Girl, you gonna go with Disney? You gonna go up against Disney? Girl. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, TJ. TJ says, we're gonna fight for our love. We're going to fight so we could show we could No, you I, I don't I feel like I don't really feel like I mean, we'll have to see what the what the case is. Right. We got to see what you're saying. Race was a motivating factor. What was the motivating factor for her? Race, too. Oh, OK, that's interesting. <laughs> the white lady. No, it didn't have nothing to do with race. It had with, something to do with character. Right. That's actually more important than race. I know some of y'all are shocked, but character is more important. And you showed a lack of character and integrity, lack of self-control. You screwing people at the job. You are the face of a company that prides themselves on family values. Whether or not they uphold that they have the goddamn bylaws and mission statements disney so you're gonna cheat on your wife with your co-anchor and then when y'all get caught y'all laughing about it okay off the air because it's not funny because y'all was cheating cheaters at work for disney TJ Holmes and Amy Robach were prepared to sue ABC, are prepared to sue ABC if the network fires, if they fire them. They're not going to fire you. I'm going to put you on death duty. T 
PJ, can you go get me the file for, yeah. We're not, you're not going to be in uh, on TV, on screen. Not with, if y'all have divorced your husbands and wives respectfully, and then y'all started dating, made it public, but y'all got too comfortable. You should have waited. You should have been more until you separated from your spouses. I think that would have been a better look. I think you should have both went to your executives and say, hey, we're getting separated from our spouses. We are in a relationship now. What does that look like for us? Y'all was like sneaking around. So like sneaking around was showing me, okay, so you knew, right, that you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing because then you wouldn't be sneaking around. But then as your relationship started to close, y'all got more comfortable being in public with your love because you know that your relationships are on their way out. Even though that lady said she was blindsided, girl, I don't believe it. I don't believe a, a wife is blindsided. I just don't. I don't. Y'all let me know if you do. Do you believe wives can be blindsided? You think Lisa Honkstein was blindsided? No, she wasn't blindsided. She wasn't either. She wasn't. I thought I don't believe that that lady was blindsided. But um, I don't know how you could say race is a motivating factor. Let's Let's go on and see. Following their romantic affair, ABC executives assured the duo they would not face disciplinary action. However, the network eventually removed Holmes and Robach from the air. The couple has reportedly retained separate counsel and if forced to sue the network, attorneys may examine race as a motive. Uh, TJ and Amy have received no explanation from ABC as to why they were removed from the air on, from on air a month ago. According to TMZ sources, the attorneys will ask ABC if they ever used the morals and conduct clause to fire or discipline two consenting adults at equal levels with, when both were white. What? So if they, okay, so you're saying that if he wasn't a black man, if she wasn't suing with sitting on black cack, then it wouldn't be a problem and they would be able to continue their on air romance. Is that what you're saying? Girl, are we like, really, is that really like, girl, <laughs> okay, girl, let's see what the comment, well, let's read a couple comments. Um, I mean, I don't get firing adults for having a consensual relationship while they're off the clock. It's weird that companies have moral clauses that's all up in people's sexual business. Like, I don't agree with them cheating on their spouses, but they didn't do it at work and it didn't affect them doing their jobs. It's an HR issue. They should have made it known they were having a relationship. Then one of them would have pulled one from the show and need to be placed in another area. Take accountability for what you did, though. Stop trying to blame it on race when you caught you were caught cheating on your wife with your co-worker. The white lady about to get a bag. Good luck, brother. <laughs> this has nothing to do with race. They are trying it. Child race. It's about integrity and morals and how some companies just don't want to be associated with adulterers, let alone Disney. That whole fantasy shit has to play all the way out. Like, it has to play all the way out. It has to play all the way out. So good luck to them if if they have to sue. If they have to sue. Girl, I'm not doing it. I'm, I can't. I'm not going to do it. Mm-mm. Ray J threatens Tyrese after actor calls out Eddie Murphy for using Will Smith's infamous Oscar slap as a punchline. Don't, pay, don't play with my mentors. It won't end well. Tyrese, I'm still team Will Smith. There's nobody on this earth that I, that will ever influence me to ever have a change of heart towards the biggest influence in my life. Did nobody ask you to do that? I'm just saying, man, no, what are you saying? You're saying nothing. Move on already. I just watched Emancipation for the third time. I just can't believe how masterful this overall movie is. My brother's keeper. What happened? You, you, you're you mad that, that a comedian made a joke? Eddie Murphy, no less. Okay. All right. Ray J said, Tyrese better mind his own biz. 
you not on any level to think you can tell Axel Foley or Hakeem the Prince of Zamunda to move on already. He's number one in his acting campaign. Still to this day, real legend. You better show some respect, Tyrese. Before we'll slap you back into your reality. Oh. Yeah, I said it. You didn't say anything either. Oh, you know how I feel about you and your antics. Don't play with my mentors. It won't end well. Girl, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I don't, girl, shut up. <laughs> Both of y'all need to shut the fuck up. After, after, after singer Tyrese Gibson shows support to Will Smith following Eddie Murphy referencing the 2022 viral Oscars moment, Chris Rock, he's a comedian making a joke. I don't have to read it. Y'all know what happened. He's a comedian making a joke. And he wasn't, he said, make sure you keep Will Smith's wife name out your mouth. That's one thing. That's how you can, it's, it, to me, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. He wasn't saying anything. He was referencing, you know, and that's what I want to know. Why isn't Ray J mad that Ger Gerard Carmichael made a joke with Whitney Houston? Where is that anger and where is that? Wasn't that your home, girl? Because Jared Carmichael, Gerard, 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 I always call him Jared. Gerard Carmichael, he made a joke about this being the hotel that Whitney, that killed Whitney Houston. Why aren't you mad about that? Did you say anything about that? I wonder. I haven't heard anything. But you coming up. Girl, let me read some of the comments. I don't even know what to say because it's stupid. It's like, y'all not saying anything. Shut up. Y'all sound dumb. Tyree, shut up. That's all I can say to Tyrese. Girl, shut up. Right. If Randy, little brother, don't get go sit down somewhere, he better worry about that one wish that still ain't come true. Ray J, who asked you, if Eddie is your mentor, then he must be a lousy one. You haven't had an acting credit since Moesha. God damn. Tyrese may run his mouth too much, but at least he got acting credits on a regular basis. Ray J, sit this one out, bro. What? Is it crack, Ray J? Who is afraid of you? Right? Like, it's not going to end well. Girl, what, what, what does that mean? It's not going to end well. What you going to do? Did they say they got hitters? They got hitters? Emancipation was a, snoo a snooze fest, and Eddie Murphy's joke was tasteful, my opinion. How you tell someone to mind their business while minding other people's business? Right. Y'all want something from Target? Ray J, girl, please. Ray J just screams sucker to me. His voice ain't even deep enough to be taken seriously. That's fucked up. Can we just all get along? It was only a joke. And Will is probably laughing as he and Eddie are friends for decades. Tired of black men jumping in, jumping in the media or on social media and attacking each other or threatening each other. That's not for the culture. And we the only, and we the only culture that does that too often. Are you enmeshed in any other cu cultures to see what they do? Oh, okay. All right. So I don't know what to say about Tyrese and Ray J. Girl, grow up. Grow the fuck up. We already talked about Giselle and Candace yesterday. Okay. Let's go to the neighborhood talk. What time is it? <laughs> Girl. Trump organization fined for 1.6 million for tax fraud. Look at his face. <laughs> Two Trump entities, the Trump Corp and Trump Payroll, Pro, Payroll Corp were convicted last month of 17 felonies, including tax fraud and falsifying records. Under New York law, the most the companies can be fined is about 1.6 million. That's nothing to them. No, hers wasn't tax fraud. That's mail, that's bail money for poor people. This nation is such a joke. He needs to be locked up. You see his face? He's like, yeah. Look. The most mediocre, like, he's, like, literally the embodiment of just, like, 
you know how I used to say he, he just looks like the little, a little fat snotty nose kid with the little fat legs and you can see his little blue veins with his little pasty legs and he got dirt underneath his, his little nose because the snot is just sitting there. He's just going through, knocking over sandcastles. I feel like he is the epitome of America. Like he literally represents like, of like, well, that mediocrity, that white male, hetero Christian. Remember when he went over there, was holding the Bible upside down. <laughs> Girl, a mess, just mediocre, just, just, and then greedy and no just the the embodiment of stolen america like 1.6 million okay okay girl <laughs> whatever girl i have nothing to say about that i'm ready to go actually yeah that's better all right so what else is going on okay let's see but yeah, Elizabeth Ovenstein. Okay, we already talked about that. Tory Lane's little daddy. <laughs> the neighborhood talk. Why did they put this headline? Tory Lane's little daddy, Sun Star. <laughs> oh God. Oh. <laughs> Not Tory Lane's little daddy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Tory Lane's little daddy says they've forgiven Megan the Stallion. Girl, forget how you, girl, you need to forgive yourself. Your son's going to jail. I want to go get a Thai massage. Okay, let's see what else is going on. It says sensitive content, messages and audio of podcaster, no, of misogynist human trafficker, Andrew Tate, telling a woman, I love aring you, released amid sex trafficking sex trafficking arrest. Woman went to UK police about incident, but they claimed it was an it was an ounce of doubt, so he wasn't persecuted. What? Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hate. Okay, that's enough. Like, men like that are dangerous. And then y'all be listening to him like, they got some good points. What? They really, they really have, you know, sometimes, you know, men are violent, violent. Right. Rodney Tag, Brittany Renner said, hey, isn't this your friend? That's disgusting. Because, yeah, she was hugged up with him the other day. This was triggering. I'm happy he's behind bars. This is sick as F. I hope they get in his ass in jail because he, he needs to be handled. Sick. I don't even like him, but this sounds fake as fuck and it's very suspicious. This is fake. And this is who these little boys are out here defending. Are we still defending the, him because we're satisfied, dissatisfied with his state, with the state of women? Can we agree he isn't who we should model our lives after? Or we are we really monsters they make us out to be? I don't believe it. They can clip and change your voice. They are on they are on that man for a reason. Yeah, that's the that's the re the re that's the reason, lady. They are on him for a reason. Yes, because he's trafficking women. What do you what do you mean? That is the reason, bitch. I don't even wonder. And then, you know what? A lot of times I, I see it's like women. It's like women behind the profile pics. Girl. They framed him because he speaks the truth. This is another woman. This is, a, I, I don't, I don't understand this.
and some people are still defending this animal. People are saying it sounds like BDSM role play. No, you have to listen to the things that he said. Like, I don't understand. Like, that's why I say I think it's like it's it's something is wrong because the things that he says and then he'll say something and give some advice to tell you, yes, you need to make sure you have your own and this, you know, and give a, a piece of good advice. But then the character, like the, the person that it's coming out of and the things that you, that he has done and said out of his own mouth. And it's like, you're, you're choosing to ignore those things because what he said to you was so profound that you need to hold on to those things and be like, well, you know, he really gives some good advice despite aring people and trafficking people and pimping people. But he, he, he has some good advice. Are y'all like, that is crazy. Straight to jail again. Don't pass go or nothing else. This is fake. Men in the comments of videos on Tate saying there's no proof of him doing these things. Give it up for the alpha males. I just want to say some women legit like this kind of talk, like they're playing roles. The doubt that could, the, the doubt could be they're playing roles in bed. I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm just saying. Doesn't sound like him, but people are desperate for him to be guilty for something so they can justify hating him more. And you go look at these people's profiles. It's it like I honestly feel sorry for women who date heterosexual men. Like when especially like the now and this day, like before a lot of their the way that they think you wouldn't be able to see it. Right. Um, but now you can look in the comments and see how these guys are thinking. Um, I always say it's a good practice to kind of weed out the weirdos that are around you by posting something like this to your page and seeing what the men you are in community with and the women, how they think about situations like this. So you can get a temperature and a gauge on who's around you because when people are agreeing or trying to defend somebody who has such of a low character as Andrew Tate, you really have to question your association to them. You do like Brittany Renner all hugged up. Well, what? Cause he said one good thing that stuck with you. So it's so crucial that you defend him because he gave you a piece of information that was useful to you. If she went to the police, why would you even suggest that it was role playing? If it was role playing, nobody would have gone to the police and it would just been a, a recording. I didn't thought about that. If I was role playing, I wouldn't go to the police. I'm just saying. I don't want to play it. I do not want to play that. I heard enough. I heard a freaking enough. Why is Erica Badu asking people to donate to her sister because her sister's house caught on fire? Girl, ain't you rich with rich friends? That's who she was talking to. I already said that on my other video. She wasn't talking to you, brokies. <laughs> she wasn't talking to y'all. And when people ask for people to donate, it's like, they're asking for people to donate because people want to do nice things for people. And this, this is something I, I want to do this. I, I don't understand why you're going to tell somebody why, why are you asking for donations when you have it? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Let's see. Um, people magazine. Let's see what's on people. What time is it? Damn.
It's all about it's all about Lisa Marie. It's Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie. Marvin Gaye's son is under investigation after is under investigation for assault after family dispute allegedly led him to point a gun at his cousin. Not what your grand did your grandfather do that to your dad? Like, girl, what the hell? During the dispute, Gay and his cousin reportedly engaged in a heated back and forth before the 57-year-old was alleged to have pulled out his gun and pointed it directly at his relative. Moments later, Gay decided to flee his home as he jumped into a car and drove off, with cops now investigating the situation, which they are calling a criminal case of assault. Not entirely clear what led to the argument. That's how your father died. In a family dispute, and your grandfather shot him and killed him. And you gonna turn around? Girl. I don't know. Talk about a, a cycle. Talk about, ooh, that's crazy. Why would, girl, I don't, they don't say that, they don't say why they were arguing, so we don't know, we don't know. Okay, so that's about it. I guess Rihanna is Rihanna gonna perform at the Super Bowl? Is there an album coming out? Okay, girl, I'm done. I'm on, I'm about to go eat. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down. He's always saying something stupid. It was something Kevin Gates. I don't want Kevin Gates. Shut up. Anyways, y'all take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Happy Friday the 13th. Bye.